Hey everybody, um, I'm glad you're here to join us today. Uh, Through the Woods 360 welcomes you back uh, and welcomes you if you're a first time viewer. So in a previous video, we had taken a pork loin and we cut it up and we showed how to make basically seven different meals, seven for a small family, maybe a family of two or three, depending on how big the eaters are. But anyway, one of those meals was stuffed pork chops. So today we're going to prepare those stuffed pork chops for you. And we have our stuffed pork chops here. Um, and we used stovetop stuffing and just mixed it up according to the package directions. Actually, I'm fudging a little bit. I cut down on the water. Like it calls for a cup and a half. I used two packs of stuffing. Calls for a cup and a half of water. And I only used about a cup and a quarter for each pack. So that would be two and a half cups for two packs. And then we went ahead and we stuffed the pork chops and the remainder of it we have behind us. So we're gonna get ready to prep a baking dish here with a little bit of butter, and then we're gonna put these in there. We're gonna use some Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. You could use cream of chicken, anything you like. Cream of celery would be good. It doesn't matter, any cream soup that would go with pork. And we're gonna make up an awesome meal. So stick around. We've got a couple of side dishes to make with it too. I don't know if you're a red beet lover, but we are, and they're very good for you. So we're gonna make some of those too. And we're gonna get going that on that. So I've buttered this pan really liberally to make sure the stuffing doesn't stick since it has no oil in it, because we've omitted that. Okay. So we're gonna take our can of cream of mushroom soup and we're gonna dump it in. I'm just gonna dump it in here. Just not that I need a measuring cup, but I just need something to mix it in with some milk. And you could use cream if you wanted to, it really doesn't matter. We're just looking to dilute this. And what I do is since I've mixed that with, I've shorted, two boxes of stuffing out of a cup or a half a cup of liquid of water. I'm replacing that half a cup of liquid with a half a cup of milk. And we're just gonna dump this in here. And it's just plain, regular whole milk. And I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a mix in here. Kind of squish it down. And this is gonna get dumped over the top of everything after we get it put in there. All right, so we're gonna take our pork chops and we're gonna put them in, in this baking dish and I'm gonna take them the fat side and I'm gonna put it to the outside because the outside cooks faster than the inside. So we want the fat on the outside. So that fat is gonna go to that outside and this fat is gonna go to this outside. And then I'm gonna take the stuffing and it's pretty dry because like I said, we shorted it with liquid. But if you don't short the liquid in the stuffing, what happens is when you add this cream of mushroom soup, it actually is, um, it's too wet. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put this in here over the top of these pork chops. And this is really good and really easy. And you know what, you guys, you can do this. Excuse my chop over there. You can do this with chicken breast as well. And it's really good with chicken breast. I mean, you can stuff them or you can just do them plain. You can do this with pork chops and still not stuff them, leave them plain. We're just doing this with the stuffed ones because it's good that way. You know, we like it that way. And it makes a pretty hearty meal with, um, with a couple of side dishes. We're gonna make us a side of red beets here shortly. And I know not everybody's a fan of red beets, but I'll tell you what, we grew up eating them and red beets are extremely good for you. A lot of nutrients in them. So if you're not eating them now and you haven't tried them in years, Give them a try again. They're really good for you and your taste is constantly changing. Maybe you didn't like them as a child, like Gino. He didn't like them as a child. <laughs> we could tell you a story about that. We probably will one day. We could, but I, I, I eat them <laughs> almost five days a week now. Just, just the for only, the health The only other thing I'm going to do here is I'm an onion lover. Oh, yeah. We all like onions, so 
we're going to take some rings of onions and we're just going to layer them over the top of this here because I love how those onions flavor everything and the, and the flavor that they get after they're cooked, especially if they're on top. They get a little brown, a little caramelization. So we're just going to throw some onions in here, a couple of ringlets, whatever you want. If you don't, if you're not big on onions, you can leave them off. You could sprinkle a little parsley on here. that will make it look pretty. We're going to do it just about like that. And then we're going to take this cream of mushroom soup that we've diluted with our milk. And we're going to dump this over the top of there. And I know it looks chunky, but as it heats, it's all going to get a little more liquidy. So you don't want to add too much liquid. We only shorted it um, a half a cup of liquid. So we only want to reintroduce a half a cup of liquid. And we're going to take this and we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven and we're going to cover it so it steams in here. And we're going to cook that for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. We'll let you know when we're done. And then we're going to pull the cover off after all the soup has done melted down into there as it, as it heated up and liquefied and the pork is done. We're going to let it take it off and let the stuffing finish browning up and we're going to have an awesome meal. Alrighty, so y'all ready to make some pickle beets? Sometimes we usually, we can our beets and they're actually already pickled. And red beets are one of my most favorite vegetables to can. And if you've ever canned them, you know what I'm talking about because you cut the tops off, leave a little stem on them so they don't all bleed out. And then you cook them. And when they're done and you're ready to can them, you just take them. And you squeeze them and they pop out of the skin. It's just, it's just cool. I've been canning red beets since I was knee high to a grasshopper. And I love canning red beets. So we have some red beets here. And I already made sure I opened these so we didn't have a problem like we did with our apple cider. <laughs> <laughs> and I have in here just, I have a half of a medium onion sliced up really thin. And then I just went through it and did a course chop on it so they're not just in halves and we're gonna dump in here we always put onions in our pickled beets I'm gonna dump in here this juice from these red beets I'm just gonna hold my finger on the beets and strain the juice out whatever wants to come out okay and then I'm gonna add we're gonna add this and we're gonna adjust from here And I say that, but I'm thinking I might have a little too much, but I have two tablespoons of sugar in here. And it's probably okay. Two tablespoons of sugar, <laughs> <laughs> two tablespoons of vinegar. I am not adding salt to this because we added salt to these when we canned them. So we're going to give this a little stir. Try to dissolve a little bit of that sugar. And then we're going to dump those red beets in here. And we have a lot of red beets in this jar here. That's a full, packed, full quart of red beets. Because when we eat beets, we love red beets. And we have quite a few onions in here. And y'all, if you're not big on onions, you don't have to put onions in it at all. You can just use the sugar. You can just use the sugar and the, and the vinegar. You can cut down on the amount of onions you put in it, but... We like the onions. There's always got to be one. Look at that. <laughs> always got to be one that wants to hang in there. He can make me get my hands in there and pull him out, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Oh, there, there he goes. He scared him. All righty. We're just going to take this over to the stove. We're going to turn it on. Low flame. And we're going to let this cook in here so these red beets pick up that onion flavor. So we've actually been in here. A little over an hour. Let me drag this out here so y'all can see. And we're about ready to take that top off. And our soup didn't go down quite as far as I thought it would, but but it's I dug down in there looking pretty good. So 
So Gene will take a gander in this pot of beets here. Yeah, let's see those wonderful. We got the beets on the back burner going so look at oh, yeah. that. Mm. And that was just about right. Two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of vinegar to a quarter beets. We'll add a little pepper to it when we eat it, but doesn't need any more salt. Alrighty. Time to dig in. Oh, baby. Mmm, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Some of these onions. A little bit of stuffing. Now, you guys, look at these red beets. The piece de resistance. Can you see the onions in there? Oh, it's hard yeah. to see, isn't it? Because they are the same color as the red beets. And I'll tell you what, if you never, ever, ever dyed Easter eggs with red beet juice, you got to try. They make beautiful Easter eggs. It's fun. Oh, I love the beets. Okay. One more thing. Now for a little bit of sweetness. Some peaches. Got to have some canned peaches. How's that for a beautiful looking plate? It looks awesome. <clears throat> okay. Gotta put some pepper I gotta on spice there. this up just a little bit. I need some pepper on everything because I love pepper. Okay. What should I try first, Les? Whatever you want. Let's try some of this pork chop first. That's a a little more stuff in there than I thought. Oh, well. It's all good. I'm sure you can fit it. Yeah, I haven't eaten yet today, so it'll be a welcome. Oh, look at that. It's just nice. Done to perfection inside. See the stuffing in there? Uh-huh. Look at all that nice done white pork. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Oh, I lucked out. I got some onions here. How's the stuffing? I'll let you know in about five seconds. Oh, that is amazing, especially with the onion. Doesn't even taste like stove top anymore, does it? No, no, no. Mmm. Beets taste just like mom's. They ought to. They were made just like mom's. That's right. <laughs> That's what we strive for, mom and grandma. And the peaches are fantastic, too. It's a good compliment. This is it? like a lovely plate of food, isn't it? Look at that. It's a feast fit for a king. Just amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. And until next time, God bless you all. Have a good night.